My name is Jim. I'm ndflagpoleguy.com. I've been in business since 2016. Since then, put in over 200 flagpoles, created lots of new friendships, and feel like I'm riding a wave of patriotism. People just excited to show the patriotism. We got our start by, uh, I was listening to AM Talk Radio, Scott Hannon, What's On Your Mind, and as he uh, opened up his show, it was pre-Flag Day 2016, and some old guy calls and says, where do I get a flagpole? And Scott says, I don't know. Where's Jack? Get a flagpole. For two hours, nobody can tell him where to get a flagpole. We're live and on location on the Strip and Mandan today with What's On Your Mind, broadcasting from Schwann, Buick GMC Cadillac. So Jim, the flagpole guy, we got to get him over here, put him to work. He has one set of headsets on. Todd, you know what his headset that he has on right now are for? To listen to us on uh, What's On Your Mind. Isn't that something? Wherever he goes, wherever he goes, always got those headsets on, and uh, you, you, you put a different uh, set of headsets on there. And How are you? We practice safe driving. Yeah, you do? Yes, we do. Headset. We can drive down the road and talk, bother anybody that needs to be bothered. No, you don't bother anybody. You help them. You put up a flag. You you uh, you allow them to uh, to celebrate. People everywhere you go, I hear from people later say, "Hey, I heard about Jim the flight pole guy on the radio." And you know what? I uh, I can't believe it, but I, I I it was so fun to meet him. And it, you know, it's more than it's more than a transaction to buy a flagpole. It's it's a relationship that starts, and people appreciate uh, what you're doing. Well, it's right. And the shine on their face, when the flag goes up for the first time, the, the it's like the humble sincerity just comes out in tears and uh, smiles of joy. It, it's just really phenomenal. That's and awesome. I want to share that. That's awesome. Because America's good. Unbelievable. It really was. And I, and I remember the, the day very well. And I remember him calling in. Radio's a place sometimes, talk radio where you're going to vent. Hey, I can't find a flagpole, right? Uh Somebody hears that, says, why don't I sell flight poles? And the rest is history. Yeah, I think I think that happens all the time. And I think, you know, that's why we love doing what we do, helping people any way we can. I'm Steve Schwann from Schwann View at GMC Cadillac, president. I met Jim, uh, basically I met him through What's On Your Mind. I was listening to What's On Your Mind when I drive to work out to the bank in the mornings between 9 and 11 in the morning. Every morning I have it on KFYR. And it kept talking about the flag man, the flag man, the flag man. Well, it was always one of our store goals to get a flag. And this year in 2019, it came, became the year to do it. Well, tomorrow's gonna be a big day for us as naturally we're gonna unfurl the flag. Uh, all my employees, I got 75 employees are gonna be out there and hopefully a lot of other, I think the Boy Scouts are gonna be here. The honor guard from the Knights of Columbus. Of course, what's on your mind is gonna be here and we're going to unfurl that flag about 10.08. They're gonna sing the national anthem. We're gonna give free cupcakes away, red, white, and blue. So we got a little treat for everybody when they're there. And of course, all this month, we're giving away free flag when anybody buys a new car or a used car. We're doing our part. Uh, our fourth degree assembly in Mandan gives out an award for businesses who proudly fly the flag. We call it the Patriot of the Month. And this month we would like to present Schwann Buick GMC with the Patriot of the Month for flying this beautiful flag. Everybody come on up and grab a cupcake. We gotta get them. I made them two days it took me. <laughs> Thirteen colonies, and they had hope. And that's what this day is. It's hope. Are you campaigning to uh, add Puerto Rico and Guam and some more stars, and therefore some more flags, and therefore therefore some more poles? I don't know if we want to. <laughs> add more stars and more states and everything. If they say, hey, man, we love your Constitution, we want to be part of your Constitution, and it's great and everything, yeah, sure. bring it on. You know, contribute. I'm all for it. 80-foot pole, one of the biggest you've ever put in? 80-foot is my biggest, and I have three, biggest. three of them now. I've, I've been in business three years now, and I've been, had uh, uh, 
three th or 380 foot flagpoles. So say hi mom, hi dad. Nobody remembers the dad when they do that, right? All these NFL players, the dad spent all that time throwing the ball. They never oh, reveal dad. Him, they only remember mom. So hi dad. <laughs> My dad. My dad, he got cancer and um, I went back home several times to be with them. And over the course of a few years, we got to uh, talk about a lot of different things, our heritage, everything. And my cousin says, well, you know, we're, we're like American royalty. I'm like, what are you talking about? She says, our forefathers fought with George Washington. And I'm like, what? She says, yeah, it started out as Swart Wout. It's from Dutch and we can be traced back to the 1600s of being in America. And as um, time went on, the swart wouts turned to swart outs and then swart outs again and a different spelling and now it's swart out. You can find in the Library of Congress dated 1892 under the swart out chronicle, a description of many heroic swart outs, swart wouts, swart outs that uh, fought gallantly and when and where and lo and behold, there was a Captain Oliver Perry Abraham Swarthout who gave the blue of his jacket for the first Second Continental Congress that was ratified in June of 1777. I learned at Fort Shugler, he gave the blue of his jacket for that flag that flew over Fort Shugler. That kind of brings my flagpole experience and love for the American colors to a new light. Cause now not only does my dad in the military, my both grandpas, my uncles, my cousins, you know, we were able to evaluate each other's service to talk about it over the years. And um, as I learned my grandpas on both sides were in World War II, they never talked about it, you know. Um, my grandpas were always gentlemen, um, but as we learn more about our heritage, I think we'll all find that most of us that have been around for a while and don't really hear about whether or not our ancestors came lately, we've been all here for a while and undoubtedly there's heroes in every family. Jim, ND Flagpole Guide. Today we're at Chuan GMC, June 14th, 2019, celebrating Flag Day, where we erected an 80 foot flagpole. Well, you know, uh, Boy Scouts are such an important part of American culture. And today I just want to recognize Braxton. He's a one year Eagle Scout today, and he's troop number 1073. 1073 in uh, Bismarck, Mandan area. And I just want to know. What's it like being American? What do you like about America? Uh, that you get to wake up every morning and you're a free, free person. Uh, and there's people overseas fighting for us and that we don't have to go over there. Uh, and we like get to choose if we get over there or not. And yeah. And Boy Scouts and an Eagle Scout, what's important is that that seems to be an important part of fabric of America. What, what do they contribute to America? What does it teach about America values? Uh, it teaches us how to like contribute to the community and that we all need to do our part. Uh, yeah. Well, that's awesome, you know, that uh, you have a father who uh, is part of your troop as well. He's a troop leader or is he, what's his title? Uh, he was a scoutmaster and now he stepped down. So he I don't... stepped down, but he's here with you today. Yep. Make sure that you have the chance to attend. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Braxton. Thank I sure you. do appreciate it. Yep. Good day. I, I love America because it's home of the free. Home of the free. Right? I mean, we can do things in this country that you, you can't even think about doing. And if you think about doing it, you lose your life. Right. And I think sometimes we all forget about that. Right. That we've got so many freedoms. And so we exercise them and we don't let people say we can't be free, right? Right, that's right. Yeah, so. My husband's a veteran too. Are you a veteran? Yep, Marine yeah. Corps. 
Okay, yeah, okay. army. And yeah. army. Yeah. Um, I did some research actually before I came here, and some some organizations will actually raise the flag at 10:08 for um, organ donation awareness. Did you know that? Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. I know. Apparently, like eight people every minute are put on the registry, and if you are a donor. You can save up to 10 lives, yeah. so 10. It kind of it's sweet irony. My son passed away this year, and um, we donated his parts of his body to other people. Three people, actually, were saved. Yeah. It was hard. Horrible, your horrible sorrow, it was a great gift, and I can't help but think right now that maybe 1008 was for a reason today. My son Austin John Swartout, he's uh, worthy of remembering and talking about his great American. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. Hey, thanks for uh, going around our great state and put up the United States flag. Well, you're welcome. That's what I do. What we like to do, Scott, is share the stories of America and, you know, and what does America mean to us. And we kind of want to go in that direction with you. Um, what has America meant for you? Um, well, I have to say that, um, you know, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about that question, but if I think about, you know, my life, I think it's, you know, imagine, and, 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 you know, there's very few countries in the world where you could get on the radio every day and give your opinion and still be alive, Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I get up and I, and sometimes I, I take stands on political races, even right. Uh, that candidate over that candidate and uh, share my opinion. Sometimes people are going to agree. Sometimes they're not going to agree going to agree that's great that's that's wonderful i i never get wrapped around my axle of somebody who uh says you know uh, uh the, you're wrong you you know you're the swamp or you're whatever because you know they're just it's just their opinion and uh i think what's great about america and what i love so much about america is we can do that here uh and and i have to tell you i do worry uh especially through the trump years uh how uh, that is frayed a little bit i mean you always think the moment now is uh, the worst it's ever been but i i i at least in my 54 years i can't think of a time when uh you know, people are at each other's throats to the degree they are. Social media adds a lot to that. So, you know, there's fr freedom just puts it all out there. But we need to realize uh, we have to celebrate this, not be worried about it. Right. And with all the division that's happening in the political realm right now, my mission is to share the goodness of, of America and share, uh, you know, really the, the, uh, the unspoken truth right now that individual freedoms like Iraq, and it's moving, our Constitution has set a civil uh, agreement amongst its citizens to allow for individuals to prosper. And when you get a whole uh, population moving in that direction, yes. they're, they are, uh, it's kind of hard to stop. And, and, but a lot of times that view is traditional, is trying to be changed right now. And I'm saying, you know, America is good and Americans, um, Get back to that. It worked for a lot of years. Worked for a lot of years post Civil War, uh, you know. Uh, but it, it, it feels a, a little ugly right now, so I do worry about it. You know, what I love most about a flag is just uh, how it just you know whips in the wind, or you know, kind of it's a light breeze. It'll just you know uh, go there. It's just glorious. It really is. And it's really that that whole unfolding of the flag and the way that it. Uh, that it flies is uh, just something I, I love. I get a lot in my throat, I love it. I just think it stands for everything. I think of veterans, I think of all the blood spilled for that flag. I think of, uh, you know, um, the sacrifices made for that flag and uh, we so easily take it all for granted now, so um, it's just hard not to get uh, really sentimental, certainly very patriotic looking at that flag.
It was the most pristine, beautiful time that I've ever installed a flagpole. It was so spiritual. It's just that setting was something about it. It was just to me a great experience. Hi, this is Jim, Mindy Flagpole Guy. Today I'm with Braxton. Braxton's with Boy Scout Troop 1073. And I just want to know what what do you like about him? <laughs> <laughs> Let me try this again. Should we just cut it?